hope you will be fine and staying safe in your home today we will study about differential coding in multimedia applications now what is differential coding so differential coding is basically used to prevent inversion of the signal and symbol so let us summarize the most important points of differential coding in a digital communication differential coding is a technique used to provide unambiguous signal reception when using some type of modulation so modulation is a technique by which an analog signal is converted into a digital signal so in this the differential coding is used it makes data to be transmitted to depend not only on the current signal that is ongoing signal but also on the previous signal now the common type of modulation that require differential coding include one is phase shift keying and the another another one is quadrative amplitude modulation now what is the purpose of differential coding as i have told you it is used to prevent inversion of the signal and symbols respectively from in order to affect the data this data is transmitted over a twisted pair cable now in a differential coding differential encoder and differential decoder is used so so this is a differential encoder and we have a differential decoder also
now generally speaking a differential coding is applied to symbols it is basically used to resolve the ambiguity now to resolve the ambiguity of 180 degree single bit is used as like that to resolve the ambiguity of 90 degree pair of bits are used that is two bits are used now similarly to resolve the ambiguity of 45 degree triplets are used means combination of three bits so on the basis of this the inversion of a signal is prevented now what is the use of differential coding so number one is the differential coding method is base is primarily used in satellite communication where we have to prevent a signal more effectively now second one is it is used in radio relay transmissions like we have used in big fm etc etc so this technique also have disadvantages what are these basically this is based on the process of multiplication so here we get a an error of error multiplication so hope you have understood this lecture thank you very much